I'm a little bit tired of the predator mentality of the world. When an old man walks into a playground with a leather jacket on, everybody becomes suspicious of his behavior. But when an old man hires a young man, puts an outfit on him, puts a microphone in his hand, and puts voice enhancers behind his voice, nobody gives a shit. So even though these young boys are now becoming boy bands and suckering your daughters into believing that this is love, that this is a guy they want to be with and a guy they want to idolize, we don't seem to care as people. That these young girls are being completely bombarded with propaganda at a very young age. I mean, it's, it's kind of up to us men as well to put a stop to it and expose it. We, I mean, we have a job to do in this world to expose evil folks. When there is an old man sitting in a room and a young woman comes walking in saying, I want to become a star. The guy says, the old man says, okay, you come suck my dick. I'm going to videotape it and I will make you a star with my money. But if you tell anybody, I'm going to expose your video to the world. Do you know how many celebrities today are being blackmailed? Do you have honest to God any clue? You all think they're rich and famous and that's supposed to be the greatest lifestyle there is. No. It's not. The Bible even tells you exactly what kind of people these are, how they got there, how they got to where they gotten to. I mean, even your Bible completely says to you, don't be envious of others because you don't know what they did to achieve what they have. You don't know. So while you look at that pop star and you go, wow, what a great person. I want to be like them. You don't know what they've done to become that, okay? You don't become a rich and famous, powerful person overnight, okay? It doesn't happen unless you either sold out your soul, sold off your body, or did something very terrible. Murdered somebody, something like that. And those, or robbed somebody. Somewhere in those lines is what you had to do to become rich and powerful overnight. Yeah, we keep seeing the Justin Bieber's rise in the world. We keep seeing the celebrity worship of the world. Do you not see what's going on? These children are being brainwashed at a young age. And what's worse is, while they're a young age, okay, these celebrities are growing up also. When these celebrities get older, they start taking on very bad behaviors, and, and they're hoping that the people that follow them will take on the same behaviors as well. So they start out acting very young and innocent, like, um, you know, Britney Spears and the, and the Mickey Mouse thing that she did. Then later on, she comes out singing songs like, I'm not that innocent anymore, and all this shit. They're trying to suck these women down a deep rabbit hole, and we as men should be exposing it. All we've been doing as MGTOW right now is sitting here protecting men's rights. Hey, that's great, but how about we go down the further down the road and start exposing everything that deserves to be exposed? There is so much in this world, so much... I mean, we keep saying to the world out there, there's a matrix out there, there's a matrix out there, and everybody's like, no, there's not a matrix out there, no way there's a matrix out there. How about we stop saying there is a matrix out there and just start exposing the crap, the fucking shit, to start exposing the damn matrix for what it is. Down to the governments who shot down Kennedy in the, in the head, then took over the country, the, the, the country was hijacked, start being honest and truthful about, about everything that you see, and the more you do that, the stronger you become, the more empowered you become. You are all living in a box of denial, in the box of uh, public opinion, you are living in the box of uh, ego, you guys are acting selfish and insane. It's all narcissistic. You are living inside the devil's box. Step out of the box. The box is what we call the matrix. How can we step out of the matrix as men just because what women did to us and we step out of the box? But we're not going to sit there and say, okay, let's destroy the box as well. Since we've stepped out of the box, let's completely destroy it. And all we have to do to, ex to destroy it is just to expose it. Your Bible even tells you to expose all evil, that it's your duty to expose all evil. How about we all just get together and start finally exposing all this evil? Light is stronger than darkness. Darkness flees from the light. If we all stood up and started saying, look, this is evil, this is evil, this is evil, the movies, the music, the entertainment is all evil. I mean, the devil has you so confused right now that, he, that you actually believe that you are being entertained while you are actually being bedazzled, while you are being bewitched, while you are being charmed, while you are being seduced. They call it entertainment. There's a reason why you are addicted to it. There's a reason why you sit down on television every week to watch the same show. There is a reason for it. You are being trapped. You are being seduced. And it is what I have always been called, been calling the Lotus Room. I've explained in many videos what the Lotus Room is. Stop falling for it, folks. Oh. 
We need to start protecting these young girls out there today. We really need to start protecting them. The little 11 year olds, the little 12 year olds that are being bombarded by Justin Bieber's and shit like that. That are just being told in general terms that they are loved. When they pop a CD, a CD, here comes Justin Bieber going, boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is my babe, I love her so much, and all this shit. But all they continuously do in all of these songs, they actually started doing that, is they start randomizing the songs. Instead of mentioning a name of a girl, it's babe or boo. It's all generalizing, because with a generalizing song, you can attract more souls. No girl wants to fall in love with Justin Bieber if Justin Bieber is singing the song about Jennifer. So instead of singing a song about Jennifer, he sings a song about girls in general. This is a brainwashing on the girls. This is also a brainwashing on the boys out there who haven't figured this out yet. This is what they do. Same with movies. It used to be a movie was based on a good storyline, and the story would continue on to the action. And it used to actually be in most movies that a story was one long, gigantic story, and at the end of the movie, there'd be a big bang. Boat blown up, train blown up, airplane blown up. Most of your historical movies that you know are based that way. Story, 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 boom, movie over. Not anymore. Now it's all boom, 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 shitty storyline. Boom, 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 and you walk out feeling like, whoa, what the fuck have I just experienced? You all need to understand what is going on. Everything is being used against you to put you to sleep. To keep you dumbed down. Every song that you know today is sung about somebody in general. There is no names mentioned whatsoever. They would never do that because it would fuck up the selling of the CDs. They don't care what they do to you as long as they sell, as long as they make the money. They don't care what happens to you as a person. As a person, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit too frustrated again. I need to calm down. Look, guys, they don't care what they're going to do to you as a person as long as they get their money. That's all they care about is riches. They don't care about the emotional damage that leaves little girls behind. They don't care what it does to little boys' self-esteem. They don't care. All they care about is the money. So when are you going to start to care? When are you going to start saying, okay, I've had enough of this shit. I can't stand little boys anymore walking with their pants hanging off their ass. I can't stand little boys anymore that are joining gangs, not knowing anything better in their life, listening to rap music, not knowing any better in their life. Whatever happened to Big Brothers, for example, where men used to go out and help little boys who didn't have a father in their life? Whatever happened to the Big Brother system? That's been killed off. Everything to encourage a child to grow up properly strong and healthy is being discouraged today while all the bad shit is being brought in. And we have all sat in there now dormant, not putting a stop to it. How about we put a stop to it? Start exposing the evil. It is not cool to follow evil. It is cool to expose evil because you learn more. When you expose it, it breaks up into a thousand little pieces, and you can analyze all the pieces, and from those little pieces, you become a lot stronger as a human, as a human being, as an individual. You don't have to take the brainwashing. You don't have to live in it. Step outside of the box, folks. I'm telling you, it's much better outside of the box than it is inside of the box. I don't have any fear for political correctness. And by the way, as I've said before, political correctness is a tool used against you. It is what psychopaths have been using for thousands of years. What it does is it makes you feel like you're walking constantly on eggshells. And if you dare make one tiny mistake, you are punished, you are beat down, you are just tormented for your one mistake. You know why? Because you're a good person, that's all they have against you. One mistake. Real people do not toss you away for one mistake. Real people still care about you after one mistake. They still care about you after ten mistakes, as long as you keep learning from your mistakes. Step out of that world, folks, of constantly being afraid of making the wrong move. Constantly being afraid of saying the wrong thing. Stand up for yourselves. It is better to stand in the light than to hide in the darkness. This is War Dogs Friar. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.